Hello, my name is Renee Clark, and welcome to this video lecture on working with multiple workbooks in Microsoft Excel. Why do we work with multiple workbooks? There are many reasons. One of the most common is because our data is so large it becomes unwieldy to keep it in a single workbook. Also, you might have separate workbooks because you have multiple users doing the data entry. For example, if you have regional offices, offices in different cities, just different physical locations, and their data entry is controlled by a manager in that office, you may create worksheets that have the same structure and layout for each of them to do data entry into, and then assign a person to be responsible in each office. When you are creating links in workbooks, your link will look a little different than the usual cell reference. Anywhere you can put a cell reference in a formula, you can put this linked cell reference in. Your linked cell reference will look like this, an opening square bracket followed by the workbook name. This will include the extension. So if you're using an older version of Excel, perhaps .xls followed by a closing square bracket, followed by the worksheet name, that name that you put down on the tab, followed by an exclamation point, followed by the actual cell reference or cell range, for example, something like B6. If you have a blank space in either the workbook name or the worksheet name, you must put in single quotation marks around the workbook name and worksheet name. So the first single quote would be directly before the opening square bracket and directly after the worksheet name and immediately before the exclamation point you would put your second single quote. Anywhere you can put a cell reference in a formula you can put a linked cell reference. Let's take a look. Here I have a worksheet with four quarters being shown in a separate column each and four different products pink red blue and green widgets this is going to be my summary worksheet showing quarterly sales by region i also have open in excel a south region a north region and an east region let's go back to my summary worksheet now, you can see that I was using the switch windows to switch between them. I can also use the Arrange All button on the View tab. So I'm on the View ribbon, and here I find Arrange All, and it lets me arrange the windows that I have open in Excel in either a tiled, horizontally, vertical, or cascade. I'm going to use the tiled method here to make it a little bit easier. At the same time, I want to go ahead and I'm going to collapse my ribbons. So I'm going to just show the tabs. And this makes it so I can better see the data on my worksheet. If you happen to have a formula bar made larger, go ahead and collapse that as well. This allows you to see a little bit of the data on all of your worksheets at the same time. Now, to enter my formulas, I could go ahead and start typing it in, but it's much easier if I just use the click version, where I simply go to the cell I want my formula to appear in, start my formula with an equal sign. Now, in this case, I'm going to add up the quarterly sales by widget. So, I'm going to start here with picking up widget sales from the south region. So, I click on the South Region Worksheet, select cell B3, then I press the plus key on my keyboard, click on the North Region, B3 again, plus sign, click on the East Region Worksheet, and cell B3. I, you can see now it's coming up in my formula over here in the lecture file. And all I need to do is either press the Enter key or click the check mark. Now my formula is fully in here. Something you will notice is the linked worksheet formulas come in as absolutes, fully absolute cell references. So if you want to use copying when using these types of references, you will need to modify between fully absolute to either a relative cell reference or a mixed absolute cell reference. 
Let me show you that again. I'm going to go to quarter two. So again, equals in the cell I want the result to appear in. Select the first worksheet. Select the cell in that worksheet. Hit the plus sign. Second worksheet, cell in that worksheet, plus sign. Third worksheet, and in this case it's my final worksheet, the cell I would like, followed with pressing Enter on the keyboard. And here you can see is the difference is simply which cell it's referencing. Now, let me go ahead and show you how to do the edit. I could come in here and on each of them I can just toggle through to a relative cell reference. Or I could use that mixed. Now I've got each of the regions worksheet names properly displayed. Once I have this set up with those relative cell references, I can now copy over and you'll notice that it changes to go to D3 on that one, E3 on this one, and now I'm ready to copy down using the fill handle. I'm going to drag it down. I'm also going to make sure I fill without formatting since I've already set up my formatting. One of the things you'll notice is here I failed to modify that one, so I need to go back and do that, and again, it's just a matter of changing. Here I'm using the mixed cell reference. Now I'm ready to save that. Copy that down again without formatting and there's my result. To finish off this summary worksheet I'm going to put in totals. So on the home ribbon I'm going to use the auto sum. Because I have text labels on all sides I can use this really quick method of filling in multiple totals at the same time. And there's the resulting summary worksheet for quarterly sales by region. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.